here with uh, several of the staff members at Forest Heights Elementary and with the principal Ryan Oswalt, which I pronounced his name wrong, not, forgive me. Uh, tell us about why you're here. We're here today to celebrate the success of Forest Heights and its recent honor from Washington, D.C. Uh, with us and our school receiving a national blue ribbon designation from the U.S. Department of Education. Now we visited a little bit beforehand and how did you become um, chosen for this? Each year uh, the U.S. Department of Education seeks guidance from each state official for education at which point they nominate their highest achieving schools for this honor. We're then sent an invitation from Washington to apply. There are 413 invitations sent. Wow. There are 304 schools chosen to receive this honor. Uh, we were blessed to join the ranks, 255 public schools, 55 private schools this year. And this isn't something that's just a one-year thing. They look back at, at um, well, you know, every year the, the kids take tests, standardized tests, and, and this is the results from, I guess, years of performance. Years of performance. Okay, we're going to go next <laughs> to you. Kim, and what is your involvement with all this? Well, I'm lucky enough to be the school counselor at Forest Heights. Okay. It's the best job ever. I get to work with the whole child. I'm involved in the testing some, but I really get to work with just helping the child succeed um, as a whole and okay. then, and working with them on, on weaknesses or strengths that they have and just supporting them. So it's, it's a wonderful job and, and I get to help okay. with all of our students. So, so every part is important and, and, and the rest of you all are teachers I know. So go ahead and pass the mic and tell us about for instance what you teach and what grade or how you may have gotten involved with teaching. What's your... Yes, my name is Julie Pace and I work um, at Forest, I'm a third grade teacher, and we are de departmentalized in third and fourth grade. And I teach the reading, and I teach all of the third grade students reading um, every day. And Tell me, do you, you use the word departmentalized, what does yes. that mean? <clears throat> that means that we, um, we split up the subjects, and there is one reading teacher, one math teacher, and one creative writing teacher in third and fourth grade. And the kids change classes. They switch classes and we stay in our room and they switch classes so we all get to um, know all of the children and teach all of the children and they get to have three good teachers. Okay hmm. and next we have Connie Mooney. I'm Connie Mooney and I teach kindergarten at Forest Heights. I've taught for 12 years and I'm proud to say that we work hard K through 4 to achieve this achievement we try to find out what each child's strengths are and each child's weaknesses are, and we try to address those with fun activities. If you've ever been down the kindergarten hall, which we call on Anne quite frequently to come entertain us as Cat in the Hat in February. <laughs> My claim to fame. <laughs> and we also do rodeo days and things like that in the kindergarten to try to help the children develop all their strengths and to find ways to help them improve in any areas that they are weak in. And oftentimes, okay. I guess that's their first experience with school. I mean, some go to preschool, but kindergarten may be their first experience away from we, home. We so have it's lots of tears, sure. um, usually from moms and dads for, with first-time <laughs> students mm -hmm. versus the kids. The kids are usually fine once mom and dad leave. And we have, we have a great time. We keep busy, and we don't departmentalize. We teach everything in kindergarten. That's nice. <laughs> right. nice. Science, social studies, art. We, we do have an art teacher. I'll take that back. We do have art teachers now, and we have music teachers. But we oh. do a lot of that in kindergarten exactly. classroom also. Okay. Good. All right, let me just go right, right in here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I'm Jody Milhorn, and I teach fourth grade creative writing. Uh, we didn't used to uh, isolate skills, but as the years have proved, uh, writing has become more and more important. You have to be able to write in every area, academically, even in math. So by isolating it and teaching it as a subject, we think the kids are really learning to write, which is important, and I think it's been indicative in some of our scores. Wonderful. And then last but not least... I'm Judy Shank, and I teach second grade, and we're not departmentalized either. Um, we teach all areas, the whole 
the whole child. And uh, I've taught 36 years, and uh, Forest Heights deserves this honor. We're, we're very fortunate, but yet uh, we have such a good staff. We've had good administrators, uh, the support staff. Uh, it's just, it takes a village. I was going to say, <laughs> it does. It takes uh, but really, uh, we have good administrators, but not only good administrators and teachers and staff, they get us the materials we need. It, it's just more involved than anyone can realize. The teacher in the classroom is very important, but yet it, it takes everyone. Hmm. Right. When you, when you talk about you have a good staff and a good, good uh, administration, now every school probably says that. Don't you, don't you think? Uh, what, what makes you guys apart, set apart to, to win this award? Is there anything special that you guys do each and every day that, that has made you excel? Well, um, I've, I've taught 36 years in many different areas, and the community, uh, the economic situations, uh, it, it's just so many things. But Forest Heights is a good school. Mm -hmm. Good teachers, we work together, we plan. Uh, everyone wants what's best for the student, mm -hmm. and we try to do that. And that shows in the test scores and, and, yeah. and, and eventually in this award. And someone else would like to speak to that. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Mr. O. You know, this is my second year at Forest Heights, and I've had the opportunity to, to be in different areas of the country in both a teaching capacity and an administrative capacity. And it was with great pride that I was able to move, move home to come to Forest Heights and to see the cutting edge things that happen in a building of that age and in a district of this stature. Harrison has long time been known as a very high performing school district and it just goes to credit all of those that work together within each and every building on how well we all perform. Forest Heights just was lucky enough to be chosen this year to represent Harrison and Arkansas in this endeavor. Mm -hmm. Well, that, yeah. that's quite an honor. Uh, it is, and congratulations, everyone Thank here. Thank, Thank you, you so much. And, and I, I would say keep up the good work. Thank you. Exactly. Yeah. We will be honored in November uh, in Washington, D.C., Dr. Moss, myself, Mrs. Liggett. We will be traveling, traveling awesome. to Washington to receive the, the formal honor and designation mm -hmm. on November 14th and 15th. Yeah. Now, is this a, a yearly award? You, are, you receive the National Blue Ribbon in a given year. Okay. You can advertise yourself as a National Blue Ribbon school as long as you attach the year in which you were given the okay. award for a lifetime. But okay. you would be eligible again. We would be eligible again. Oh, we, okay. we expect you to, to apply next year then. If we're nominated, <laughs> we'll be happy to. Okay, great. Thank you all Ethan, so much yeah, for being thank here. Thank you yeah. very much. Is there thank anything you. else? You, are you good? Okay. I want to make sure we covered everything. All right. All right, thank you. Yeah. Thank you guys. We're going to take a break, and uh, Dottie Rubio will be here to talk about the Harrison Roundup Club. Stay with us. We'll be right back.